Hello viewers! In today's video we're going to be taking a review of the Touring Car Laser Setup System by RC Crew Chief. Now RC Crew Chief is a company owned by Bob Wright. He produces some quality products and I'd, as soon as he released this system I was one of the first to buy it. I just want to review the case first before I get into it I guess. He actually went 3D printed the case. Mine has number four on the bottom, so maybe this is the fourth one he's ever created. Yeah, top of the top of it is uh, some uh, important read me first, just because it is a laser that is included. Basically says don't shine it at a mirror or at people. So that's good advice and a good warning from RC Crew Chief. Now in the box we have a. Uh, variety of targets. We'll see how these targets are used. Uh, we have the actual laser in the box. You can see the laser here crafted. Again, it's 3D printed. Let's double check here. Yep, it actually shines. So what this is, is a laser system. Um, equivalent to these these stands that we all know and love in touring car. So it's a laser version of those. Uh, so we got our laser, some targets, and the actual stands. There's one flat side, one rough side, and the rough side seems to be marked with the uh, silver dots. Yep. Silver dots. So we get your four stands, as we know. Some targets, some spear targets. There appears to be some spear attachments, which look like they're for this the steering throw target. Look at that after. And and in the box we have some wheel nuts that. Looks like he also 3D printed. Um, now I watched Bob's video on it from your RC Crew Chief and he did say that these were all printed on glass. So they're very flat. Uh, the targets themselves, let's take a look at them up close. Um, the target is very critical to this system since it's a laser pointing at a target. And I do see etched in the plastic, you can see that there's lines to line things up with, and that this appears to be perfectly centered. So he, he did give some replacement ones, and there is some lines etched in there, so when you put your new target on there, it will be centered and lined up. Just double check and see if this one's similar. That looks like it is. So I'm going to use the standard, I'm going to put away the, the throw adjustment. I'm going to use the standard um, setup stands on my touring car. So I've got a touring car here, set up in race trim. I'm going to put the flat side toward the wheels, and I'm going to use the nuts provided by RC Crew Chief. If I were to, to use this further on, I would probably use the wheel nuts from my from my other kit because they are aluminum. These are 3D printed with an insert. But I'm going to use it as it came out of the box and we'll see how accurate it is. Okay, so standard install. Anyone who has a touring car, it's recommended you get a set of stands. Now, the theory of operation for this, this system, as opposed to the, our, the traditional system that we, of the uh, aluminum triangles, or stands we call them, is that they're longer levers. I'll just kind of put it this way, hopefully we can see pretty good. And I'll use a pointer to help. So the idea is, is that as the camber is decreased, so we have negative camber, that the angle would be, you know, a longer lever or longer line, and it would show highlight 
differences. So negative camera would be pointed down. And if we were to test tow, it would be pointed to the back of the target. So we'll see how that works. So that's the theory of operation that the longer the angle, more accurate it can be. Camber would po be pointing down at the target and toe would point rearward. So let's see if I can line this up pretty good. So the targets themselves, on the, on the stand, there's a slot to put them in. So I'll just put them in there and the way that they sit is they sit flat in the target. I'll pull it off so you can see how it fit in there. Here's from the back. You see that it's level across the top and it is in there solid. There's no movement. That seems to be good quality that way. Now I don't know how the camera angle is going to work. I'm just trying to show you guys you know, typical use. Now the laser as well fits in the stand. So what, you, what the, how you would use this is that you install it on one way, target on one side, and then you'd reverse it. Let's try putting the laser on. This may be difficult to see, but I'll, I'll arrange, arrange it the best I can. Now what I tried to do was two degrees uh, camber, and I think it has about three degrees of toe. Now I'll just use a pointer here, so the two degree of toe marker is here. So center is here. Two degrees is here. Three degrees is back there. So I hit, I have three degrees of toe. Toe would point to the back, and that is correct. Now I tried to set two, preset this to two degrees of camber. So two degrees of camber. So that is zero. That is one degree. And this is two. So it's about one and a half degrees. So a little shows a bit more accuracy over my my existing one. So let's just give it a a crank to the back. You can see it's almost minus two. And at that point, we're at minus two. Perfect. So you can see the laser dot over there. So this side would be set. And again, we set these things in, in race trim. So we'll try the same on the other side. So you'd remove the target, which is, oh, there's a couple little flanges on the back there. Help you to get a grip on it. I'll flip the laser to the other side. I will flip the target to the other side. Everything seems to be seated as expected. Laser on. Now let's see if we can see the, the target over there. Keep it all on my stands. So in this case, on this side, the rear toe is shows it about so turn in this way rear toe is about two and a half degrees the other side was showing three so could be something wrong with the peel on that side so that's helpful to see and i set it to two degrees of of camber on this side and we can see the minus two, so it's spot on. So on one side, I did have an adjustment without, but I see that this side is, has more, more or less rear toe than the other. So it could be a handling problem or something was bent. So that's been really helpful to find out. Um, so for the results of this, it did help me find a little handling issue that I can correct and put it back on the stands. And that's something that, that the accuracy of that G-Force one uh, didn't help me find. So I think in this case, in this case, the 
the RC Crew Chief laser setup here has helped. Um, so something on like a car, like a, this is a fixed pill car. Uh, it, it's helping me find that stuff, but on something like an Osmotics where it's infinitely adjustable, I could see this be, being very helpful because you can adjust things in a couple different axes at the same time, and, and these little pills would certainly, or this little laser setup would certainly help with that. No, I'm pretty pleased with the with the purchase. I'm a gadget type of guy, and when I saw this come up for sale, I was one of the first to buy. So it looks like good quality. We check we check the stands, very strong, flat. Targets are position. That's a critical part of this. And the laser looks like it's spot on. So thanks for watching. We'll see what we have for the next video.